Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, how you folks doing? Welcome back to another episode of the Con Man Universe. That's right, I'm your host, Con Man 167. Ladies it should be a really, really good episode here today. I'm about, uh, what am I, about 40 minutes late or something like that compared to the normal 3.30 start time. But that's okay, that's okay. Sometimes, you know, we're a little on the late side and it takes a little bit to recreate everything that we need to, especially with all the custom promos that we have in the series now, along with the custom cutscenes. So sometimes we're live at 3.30. Sometimes we're closer to 4.30, and right now we're starting at 4.13 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But right now, everybody, I need you to give me that one big thing right now. I need you to give me that con man certified roll call. So who do we got in here today? We got Jason Dreamer, Christian Vegas up in here. Hunter Hand, how you doing, my friend? We got Seth Vanderloo. I think that's the first time I've ever seen you in here. Nice to see you. Peyton Cash, Lou Dog, Ready, Set, Game, Nathan Noble. It's great to have you in here. We got Braden Sports, Sawyer McIntosh, Hyper Default. How you doing, my friend? Dustin T. Dusk Hotel. Welcome to the live stream along with Jamie Todd. It is great to see you, everybody. All right. Steve Taylor and Aled as well. Welcome to the live stream. Every single one of you, we got to talk right now for just a moment. Because right now, something happened earlier in the day. And it's, it's a little tough to watch. Not gonna lie. Earlier in the day, back in catering, well, I'm just gonna tell you right now. I'm just actually gonna show you right now. Earlier in the day, back in catering, uh, Matthew Bonneau was getting like a, something out of the vending machine, but then look at this. Just like out of nowhere, the blind side kick from Aled Thomas. This was earlier in the day, and Aled wasn't finished there. Look at this. He just throws him over into the tables. And right there, a lead Thomas, after the Cruiserweight Championship was taken away from him, he went right after the Cruiserweight Champion, Matthew Bonneau, in catering before anybody actually arrived. And watch this. Sends him right into the other side of the table, right near, like, that big cooking pan and everything that's going there. And then for the second time, another blind side kick from a lead Thomas. He was not done there. Look at it, though. Aled Thomas continuing the assault backstage. Once again, nobody was here. Nobody was ready to go. Nobody was ready to make the save. And no Bob Club members on Monday Night Con. And take a look at this. He just continued to kick him. And for the third time, one more blind side kick from Aled Thomas as he leaves Matthew Bonneau on the ground. I, uh... I, I don't know what to say about that. That was actually not supposed to be muted. You were supposed to actually have some audio there. So I, I guess there was no audio for whatever reason. But everybody, like, man, uh, a lead Thomas earlier in the night. We're going to have to get some words from a lead later on, maybe later on in the week. We're going to have to hear from Matthew Beno as well to figure out exactly what is going through his mind. But everybody, let's start this show off uh, with a bang. That's right, everyone. We have ourselves a very... Very interesting matchup to start off the night. And I'm not going to show you who is all in this match, but it is a fatal four-way for the TV championship. Now, remember, everyone, Casey Wood finally was unable to unseat the champion in Elk, the ELK. He held on to that TV championship for so long, but now Casey Wood is having to figure out exactly what it means to be the TV champion. Once a week at minimum, either on Monday Night Con or Wednesday Night Bob, or sometimes both, that TV championship must be defended. And every time they are in action, the championship is on the line. So tonight, that is no different, as Casey Wood is having to put his TV championship up against three other superstars, and these superstars are no pushover. We are waiting for the loading screen to give in here, so we can start up this right now Jamie Todd says why not add custom match photos instead of the game match upload photo that's what this is for right here the thumbnail takes care of that in between so you guys don't have to see the uh, the custom matchups and all those things I uh, it's just my way of kind of stalling you know but we are still waiting for it to load up here before we can get into our very first matchup on the evening and I think it is ready to go almost almost there there we go let's do this thing who is in the tv championship match what who is this who, who's this who the hell 
What the hell? Oh my goodness, it's Clinton Mercier! Clinton, one of the brand new members of Legends Row here on the Con Man channel. He is a member, he is supporting us, and guess what? Just like that, Clinton Mercier is in the game. Clinton, thank you so much, dude, for supporting the channel at uh, Becoming Legends Row. It is awesome, and I highly encourage more of you guys to check out Legends Row as well. But Clinton Mercier making his debut to be in the series, and look at this man. Clinton Mercier, the mercenary is here. Oh, and this guy, I bet you he's got some high-flying ability. I, get, I bet you he's pretty quick in that ring, eh? So Clinton Mercier making his debut in the Con Man universe, and can he make the debut in similar fashion how Casey Wood made his debut? But it's gonna be Hunter Hand who runs down to the ring, that hand high in the sky, this little ball of energy right here, as he bounces off the turnbuckle, bounces off the other one, and get ready everybody to shake the ropes! Hunter Hand is here, and he is in the ring now. Take a good long look at him. This guy could be your future TV champion. He's not new to the TV championship whatsoever either. He has tried and tried and tried to capture it, but he fell just a little short. Now, boom. Hunter Hand getting another opportunity tonight. Does he capture it? But now, before this match gets underway, I want to remind each and every single one of you to consider becoming a member on this channel. If you become a $5 member, you can get a chance to be in the series. And if you want to bypass the draw that we have once a month for a character in the series, then you can become a part of Legends Row. And if that doesn't interest you, you can always drop a little super chat right here on this channel to support the channel. Who's this? Who's this? Um, who's here? What the hell? No way! Oh, we got a chance at a double champ! Oh man, folks, take a good look at Mr. Tornicane. Mr. Tornicane is here, and he's the current tag team champion alongside of Brad Rhea. But it looks like Mr. Tornicane is going to get a shot at the TV championship tonight to become a double champ. Wow, this is huge. Yo, look at the look at the people. Look at the size of this matchup tonight. Seriously, Mr. Tornicane, Clinton Mercier, Hunter Hand, and then of course the TV champion Casey Wood. This is a big, big matchup here. Fatal four-way with the TV championship on the line, and Mr. Tornikane has asked for many singles opportunities, but he has yet to really be uh, delivered any. This is his biggest opportunity in singles title competition yet. Wow. And here you go, everybody. Take a look at the current, the current champ. The TV champion who finally was able to unseat Elf. Take away that long reigning championship. Put it around his waist. And now look out to the crowd as Casey Wood is here to chop down the competition. The Lumberjack, if you will, is here. And he is ready to defend this title. I bet you he is going to absolutely try to prove to the world that his first title win was not a fluke. Damn, all right. Here we go, everybody, though. Casey Wood, ready to be involved in the action. And let's get him into the ring. And if you guys are ready for this match, give me a big old thumbs up right now and say hell yeah in the live chat. Casey Wood, our TV champion, is here. And now, also when you're giving me that big old thumbs up, make sure you let me know who you think is gonna win. Type one, if you think the champion Casey Wood will retain. Type 2 if you think Clinton Mercier will win. Type 3 if you think Hunter Hand. Or Type 4 if you think Mr. Tornicane. The TV Championship raised high up above the head of the referee. Clinton. Hunter. Mr. Tornicane. And Casey Wood. Referee. Ring the bell, and here we go. TV Championship on the line. And all these superstars really, really want to make an awesome uh, awesome showing here tonight. With Elk out of the picture, the TV Championship is kind of up for grabs. You know, like, 
Casey Wood, we don't know too much of. We don't know if he is going to be okay, if he is going to be able to defend this championship every single week, just like Elk was able to. And I mean, seriously, all it takes is for one superstar to be pinned. He doesn't even have to be pinned in this matchup in order to lose. But look at the size of Clinton Mercier there, all right? He reminds me big time of Roderick Strong. If you take a look at Clinton Mercier right there, he's got the little, uh, the little flashy stuff around the boots. Maybe he's a bit of a high flyer. Well, we're going to have to keep a close eye on him. But man, Hunter Hand on the outside of the ring just working the TV champion, Casey Wood. And he really wants to, uh, to showcase the world that he is, is, in fact, the grade A prospect. He's been calling himself a really hyped up prospect for a while. But Hunter Hand has really not been able to put it together inside the ring. So now tonight is the chance for Hunter. But Casey Wood also really wants to continue showcasing the fact that he might be one of the best superstars to ever debut in the Conman universe. His debut is definitely one to remember, defeating Elk and taking that TV championship away from him. But now, he's got to defend this title here tonight for the very first time. Take a look inside the ring. Let's talk a little bit about Mr. Tornicane. As Mr. Tornicane is a part of the undisputed YouTube era. That's right, that is undisputed right there. He is one half of the tag team champs, and he is looking to become a double champion, the very first double champion in our series. Can he do it? And then the last one is Clinton Mercier, who again, we really gotta watch out for because we know nothing of tonight, as he's getting worked by Mr. Tornagin as well in the center of the ring. If you guys are excited for Monday Night Raw tonight, I will be live at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so don't forget about that. As Clinton sends Mr. Tornicane to the outside of the ring, he does a little flip, and man, I think he's starting to roll there. Clinton Mercier looking real strong, but Casey Wood, I don't know what Casey's got in mind. Yo, Casey, what you doing? Oh, he hangs him up in the top of the trio, whoa, and now just gonna choke out Hunter Hand, the grade-A prospect, trying to get him down on the ground and maybe going for the first cover of the matchup. He definitely is Casey Wood into the cover, but Mr. Tornicane's gonna break that one up in this TV championship match. I don't know, Oled, we'll see. Oh, no, I Frankenstein are delivered from Clinton, and that's the biggest move Clinton has definitely done so far. He eats a headbutt from Mr. Tornicane, who then puts him into a float over throwaway suplex. And Mr. Tornicane, just like that, able to choke out the competition. Is he going to make him tap? Clinton holding on, but Clinton gets the knee right to the face of Mr. Tornicane as Casey Wood was trying to kick him. But now into the cover, as they both break it up, I think Hunter Hand might have been out cold after a big move from Casey Wood. Back elbow reversal there as Hunter Hand is sent to the outside of the ring from Mr. Tornicane, and that leaves Clinton and Casey in the ring. Oh, back elbow reversal by Casey Wood, as Casey Wood now is going for some sort of powerbomb maneuver. Oh, he sits him down, and Clinton Mercier is going to be in a lot of pain, as Hunter Hand hits a brain buster as well on Mr. Tornicane, and I think Hunter Hand's closing in on a victory. Hunter Hand, if he can hit this move, take a look, he's got the claw, he's got the claw in, into the claw, slam from Hunter Hand, Hunter to become the TV champion, one, Two, Casey Wood saves his championship just in the nick of time. And Hunter Hand came the oh so close here tonight. But it's not over there as now Clinton Mercier is going to go into this ring. As he's got uh, Hunter Hand. But Hunter Hand, I think he sees something coming as he hits a couple back elbow reversals on to Clinton Mercier. But Clinton steps through and he busts open Hunter Hand as well. As now you can see the blood pouring down the face of one of the biggest prospects in the con man universe. But that's not enough right now as Hunter Hand reverses that one on Clinton. Take a look at Casey Wood with a scoop slam onto Mr. Tornikeen. There's a lot of action. Oh, a right hand from Hunter Hand. And that's got to knock down Clinton as he rolls to the outside of the ring. Hunter Hand misses the clothesline there. Casey Wood into the corner as Hunter Hand, oh what? Oh my god, we saw this before! The super kicks, the running chopping kicks, as Casey Wood hit two, one more lined up, as Casey Wood delivers the final blow. Three super kicks to the face of Hunter Hand, but Mr. Tornikane's in the ring, he's got him up. Oh, what is this pile driver to Wood? Casey Wood has been hit, and Mr. Tornikane now, he's looking the wrong way. Oh, Clinton Mercier with the reversal, though, as he gets back inside the ring, and a clothesline knocks him out, and that leaves Clinton, but Mr. Tornikane just kipped up. How did he do that, man? Oh, a side slam from Hunter Hand, and Mr. Tornikane backs up. I think Mr. Tornikane wants to take him out, but he eats a clothesline instead, and this leaves the ring to Hunter Hand and Clinton Mercier. 
Clinton gets helped up by Hunter Hand, and the comeback begins. Hunter Hand with a couple right hands of his own, ducks underneath the clothesline. Oh, spine buster delivered. And Woods going all the way up top. Man, where's Casey going? This doesn't seem smart, does it? No, it definitely wasn't. As the reversal from Clinton Mercier puts him there. Casey Woods going to do something. I don't know what. Oh, my God. Casey Wood just going to drive his butt over the back of the neck of Hunter Hand. Doing quite a bit of little damage. Mr. Tornicane's waiting for him to get up. I'm not sure what he was looking for. As Tornicane now sees Clinton Mercier all the way up on the top rope. He's going all the way up there. Clinton. Clinton's in so much trouble. Clinton. Oh, my God. Clinton being held and stalled and dropped down onto the center of the mat. Clinton Mercier just went for a ride. And it was not a fun one, that's for sure. Now Casey Wood on to the other side. Hunter Hand is in deep trouble as Mr. Tornicane is looking to do something. But I think Casey Wood just pulled him over. Oh my God, Hunter Hand just picked up. Power slam. Power slam delivered. Power slam delivered to Casey Wood. As Wood is back up to his feet. But Wood with the reversal and an uppercut to Hunter Hand. And now Hunter Hand be thrown into the other corner. Casey Wood. Wait. Casey, what you doing? Casey. Casey, what you doing? Right hand delivered. Oh my God, what's Casey doing? What is this move? He's all the way up. Superplex delivered. But man, it looks like Clinton Mercier is going to take advantage of this one. He's going right with a swinging neck breaker delivered. And Mr. Tornicane's back inside the ring. He eats a clothesline. Down goes Mercier. And Mercier's in a lot of trouble. Clinton's in so much trouble. Look at Mr. Tornicane from behind. Oh, a right hand delivered. Back elbow reversal from Clinton. As I think, I think Mr. Tornicane was going for the future shock DDT. But I could have been wrong. Mr. Tornicane just pulls him over with a big boot. And man, I think Casey Wood is down as well. Clinton Mercier rolling to the outside of the ring. Where, where's, where's Tornicane going? He's going for the wrong guy. He's targeting Hunter Hand, but a right hand delivered there to Casey Wood. As now uh, Clinton Mercier gets back involved in this matchup. Hunter Hand though, look at this. He's got the claw ready. The claw slam delivered to Wood. It's all over. Wait, where are you going, boy? Cover. One. Oh, Hunter Hand gets it broken up again as that's the second time of the matchup he has hit his finishing move. The TV championship is on the line. Big boot reversal there. Casey Wood gets thrown into a... Just toss away suplex. Man, this is a one-sided match. Hunter Hand didn't see Wood coming as he hits him from behind. Now Casey Wood right back on the offense of Hunter Hand. He's kind of glitching out. There you go. Here's your opportunity, Casey Wood. The step up kick chopping down the competition into the cover one two as Casey Wood has defended his TV championship oh my god wow that was an impressive match and a impressive win for Casey Wood. I cannot emphasize that enough. That was a gutsy performance. Hunter Hand took a lot of damage and he ended up eating the pinfall in the end, but wow. Wow. What a match and that's only our first one of the evening. Casey Wood is still the TV champion. Man, look at that claw slam. The Wood ate that one big time. And if it weren't for a couple breakups there, Hunter Hand would have won the TV Here championship. You know, if that was a one-on-one -on -one matchup, that might have been a different outcome. Maybe that's something we venture into in the future. But still, right now, your TV champion, Casey Wood. But everybody, we are not done here yet. Not even by a long shot. That was just our first matchup of the evening, and that was almost a 15-minute uh, a, a affair right there, maybe even longer. But everybody, let's continue on here tonight as we've got ourselves so much more to go.
And one of the things that we got to go back to is an old feud that we have seen slowly rekindle here in the Con Man universe. And this old feud that I'm talking about right now, it was when Becca was going after the women's champion, Peyton Royce. If you guys remember that a few months ago when Peyton Royce was the lovely Raw women's champion, the, the champion from Monday Night Con. And Peyton Royce, well, she felt she fought valiant for a long time. You know, she defended that championship before Becca took the championship away from her. Last week, we saw Becca beat Peyton Royce fairly easily in one-on-one -on -one action. But Billy Kay tried to get involved a lot of the time. So now, today... We are getting Becca versus Billy Kay. And let's see what the Ginge can do in this matchup when she takes on the iconic duo, but just Billy Kay. So one half of the iconic duo. Here we go. And here she is, the badass Ginge has arrived. Everybody, meet Becca. But now, everybody, I want to kindly, 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 kindly remember, remind you, I should say, to make sure you leave a like on this video. Also, making sure you are subscribed to this channel. If you did not subscribe to this channel, then you have no way of knowing when I'm absolutely live. And I see some people asking me what happened to 114,000 subscribers. If you guys were with us during NXT, I think it was. I can't remember. Uh, we had like a, a random YouTube sub cleanup and it knocked off like 40 subscribers and I think like we lost a, a few more and some more sub cleanups over the last few days. So yeah, that's kind of why we're below the 114,000 mark because uh, of course I, I, I can't seem to hit that 114 mark and stay there. <laughs> but it is what it is. And here we go. We got the Iconics. It is Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. Oh, it was hold the rope. Okay, thanks, Jamie Todd. Cool. So hold the rope, not NXT. But yeah, there you go. All right, let's get them in the ring. Who do you guys think is going to win type 1 for Becca? Type 2 for Billy Kay. As this match, it, it doesn't necessarily have any dire implications. But what I will say is that a win for either does help them advance in the women's division. So yeah, there you go. And remember guys, if you would like to know what the card is for today and if you are on the card, I try not to spoil any massive matches or any big surprises in the, uh, the results and card tab. But if you would like to know if you're in a match, that is usually the place to look. It's not 100%, not every single match is filled up. Obviously, surprises, like I said, are kept as surprises. But if you'd like to know if you're wrestling today, it is down there, and you can take a look. And now, everybody, once again, if you are brand new to here to this series and you're wondering how do I get a character in this series, very simple. You can enter the membership draw, which is a, a draw that happens once a month here on this channel. And to be entered into the draw, you got to become a $5 member, which is the middle tier here on the channel called Main Eventer. If you become a Main Eventer, you get access to the draw once a month. And one lovely person is drawn into the Con Man universe around the 15th of every month. Now, if that's not right up your alley, you can become a $30 member or the Legends tier member. I think it's 30 Canadian, it might be 25 American or something like that. And it, that lets you skip past the draw, lets you get a guaranteed character here in the Con Man universe, and once you're in the series, you're in for good. Or you become a moderator, but that is really, really difficult to become a moderator. Only select people are moderators here on this channel, and they are the most diehard, loyal, uh, everything type of Con Man fans. There you go. All right. That's my little plug. Let's get in right now. Look at the jawbreaker delivered from Billy Kay. As you saw, Peyton Royce played, paid dividends there against Becca already. And that is one thing. Oh, take a look. A steel chair was just thrown into the ring as Billy Kay just stomps on the midsection of Becca. And I wonder if they're going to use it. 
Oh man, is Billy Kay gonna make use of the steel chair? Oh now Peyton Royce, Peyton Royce trying to get involved, but Becca's gonna reverse that one, and man, Peyton Royce, oh, eats the forearm, Billy Kay reverses that one, and now punching right on the face of the Jins, but the Jins hits a back old drop kick, and Billy Kay is being taken down from Becca. Becca Wu gets reversed, sent over the top rope, as now Billy Kay is gonna get involved. Oh wait, what is this? No, this isn't gonna be good. Not on the steel chair, oh my god! Becca just put right on the steel chair! The Ginge was just hit with a hanging neck breaker on the steel. And that's gonna do so much damage. Referee, that's illegal. One. Oh, a kick out by Becca at one. The badass Ginge isn't going away that easily. But my god, referee, get the steel chair out of there. What are you doing? Becca, though, we've seen this before from her. Is she going to go for a big old elbow? I think she is. Here we go. We've seen this before. She calls this the heart, the heart stopper. I couldn't really get that one out. English sucks today, but a big old back elbow delivered there. As now Peyton Royce continues to pay dividends, stepping up on the side. But Billy Kay is going to be put in a submission move as Billy Kay is being wrenched on the back of her neck. Is she gonna tap out to Becca here? Wrenching on the neck, no, but Billy Kay gets out of that one. Ooh. Ooh. Delivered there, back elbow. Now, Billy Kay sent in the corner. Stinger splash missed from Becca. As Becca is in a little bit of trouble. Discus forearm, sidestep, kick to the midsection. Good job, Ginge. And then Ginge going right. We've seen it before. Is she gonna hit the Becca bomb? Hangs her up on the turnbuckle in the ropes. And folks, you can count to 100. Without a doubt, it's all over. Becca hooks the leg. What? Peyton Royce gets involved again. Peyton Royce. And Becca cannot believe what she just saw. She can't believe that Peyton just took advantage. And then the jawbreaker reversal from Billy Kay. As Becca is now being put into the beautiful meteor move. The double knees across the side of the head. As this is the opportunity for Billy Kay. She can win this right now. If she hits her big move. She's got her. Oh! What? Becca laid out by Billy Kay. As Billy Kay... Oh, blocked from Becca as she was looking for a big move. And then Becca, the submission specialist, locks in the knee bar. Is it all over for Billy Kay? Will she tap out or is she going to hang on for dear life? Billy Kay, will she be able to get out of this one? Yes, she does. Kick to the face of Becca. And that's one way to break a submission move. Wow. Look at this, though. In the corner. Paying homage to the new husband of Peyton Royce. Ty Dillinger, the perfect 10 shots in the corner. And now Billy Kay right back into the corner though as Becca sends her in there and a drop kick. That drops her down, that has to hurt. Becca's not a fan of what Billy Kay has been doing. Look at this sit out suplex, just snapping her into the ground. And Becca only needs one more Becca bomb or the step up back kick. It would be all over if she can get it. Ready, set, game says, is the $5 payments once a month or a one-time payment? Once a month. So as long as you are a member, you are entered into the draw once a month. Plus, you know, you get your uh, name turned green to support the channel. You get access to all the custom emojis that we have and all the other little perks that are available from becoming a member. But yes, it is a subscription-based thing. Once a month. <laughs> Back with the reversal, though. Oh, I know what Becca's looking for. We know what she's looking for. Look at the kick and the drop across the side of the head. And Billy Kay one more time lifted up to her feet as Becca's got to be closing in on this. She marches slowly into the corner as Becca's looking for the heart stopper. Will she hit it on Billy Kay? I don't think so. I think we got a little glitch right now as Becca's just staring her down. She's looking into the soul of Billy Kay. And now Becca just gonna send her in the other corner as she marches slowly over and she stares at her again. Um, Billy Kay though, right back up, sent into the other corner one more time. Becca's looking for something. It's gotta be able to hit it soon. Okay, I know exactly what's wrong here, guys. Just give me one second. Sorry, I hate doing this. There you go. All right, they are good, and boom. 
Now we go. Now we got the reversal. As Billy Kay goes to use that in the corner, she hits the Irish whip. Reversal there from Becca as she kicks her in the midsection. And Becca misses the drop kick right there. Back reversal. Right hand there from Becca as she floats over into the crucifix bomb. But the pinfall, the rope break was not good. You don't want to see that right there as Becca now. Right across the back of the knees just stomps her into the ground. And I think Becca's looking for it. Here you go. Time for the Beck out. One more time. Becca lines it up. And the Beck out missed. Oh, it's all over. Billy Kay reversed it. I don't know how she did. As she sends her over the top rope, Becca's in trouble now. Back inside the ring. Billy Kay taunting. Oh! <laughs> Count to 100. Two. That's what you get for taunting Billy Kay. Right in the face of the ginge. She puts her arms to the side as Becca steps up and kicks her square in the jaw. Oh my God. Drops that elbow and whoo, there you go. We got ourselves a new member. Oh yeah. What do we hear? Get it. What? Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Uh. Get that ready, set, game. Welcome to the team ring. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you for becoming a member of the Con Man channel. Just know that you are supporting this channel every single month and keeping this thing alive. Thank you so much, my friend, for supporting the channel. And that goes out to absolutely everybody else out here. If you support this channel at all with a donation a month, you might as well become a member. All right? Thank you guys so much in advance. And welcome to Team Green right there. Ready, set, game. But you know what? Also, look at that jaw kick she missed right there the first time. I wonder if they're going to show it a second time. No, they will not. Here is your winner. Brian O'Dell, how you doing, my friend? Welcome to the live stream. Oh, so Becca stepping up out of nowhere and truly stepping up. Not only has she now defeated Billy Kay, but she defeated Peyton Royce the week before, and this has been quite the uphill battle for the Ginge. It's great to see her win, and she is back on top right now. All right, that is only the second match of the evening. Can you believe that, folks? That is literally the only, only the second match of the evening, and I'm absolutely flabbergasted of what has happened here tonight so far. Uh, earlier on in the night, I'm not sure if you guys saw, but Aled Thomas attacked Matthew Beno. We're just going to show you really, really quick here um, what happened earlier on in the night. It, it was, uh, it was when he was back there at catering and. He was trying to get a soda, but then look at this. Uh, Aled Thomas just absolutely out of nowhere, the blindside kick, and he ensued by continuing the attack in catering. Look at that. He whips him over into the table, and, and it was just, it was very, very difficult to watch, and as a result, we're not going to watch the whole thing here. <clears throat> But man, uh, just to kind of recap there, Aled Thomas with a dastardly evil attack and that thing went on for a few more minutes until he finally hit another blindside kick right about here. Look at this, thumb to the eye. And you gotta wonder what the well-being of Matthew Bono is. Is he okay? Is he not? It's a very good question. But everybody right now, um, we are supposed to be getting a tag team match right now. We're supposed to be getting the Dynasty versus the Above Average Joes. And I think we... Oh! What the hell? We're supposed... No! The Dynasty attacking Samoa Joe! The Dynasty! What are you doing? Oh, Joseph E. backs him up, but... Yo, we're supposed to be having a... Uh, a two-on-two -two tag team match right now. Is Samoa Joe okay? Is Joe Okay. This match is supposed to happen right now, but is Samoa Joe going to be able to come out? No, he's not. Oh, no. So, Samoa Joe was attacked. And, and I, I think the dynasty is... They're supposed to go two-on-one against the above-average Joes right now, but Josephy, the only one walking down to the ring, uh, you gotta assume that the WWE doctors just wanted to check on Samoa Joe and obviously would not clear him for this match that just happened. 
Oh, man. Uh, God. And of course, here you go. The two superstars who did the damage, so proud of themselves, as they call themselves the Dynasty. And it's hard to argue when their record has been as strong as it has been. Dynasty, welcome back here to the Con Man universe, but you don't gotta do things like that. You don't gotta take cheap shots. Don't turn into that team. General Manager Khan likes you. He likes the Dynasty. He sees big things here. But if you continue to attack people from behind, you're no different than the rest of the schmucks out there. You're no different than Aled Thomas. You're no different than Crossbow. You are no different than Jason Dreamer. And while some of those guys may be the top people in the business right now, you cannot stay on top as long as you continue to tear down your friends around you. Kevin Wade and Isaac Roa from the Dynasty making their way to the ring right now. But there you go. Isaac Roa. Kevin Wade. The Dynasty. And ready for the light change? As this is a team... You do not want to forget the Dynasty is here as they are obviously going to be taking on uh, straight up just Joseph Ali after that evil, evil attack backstage. Here we go, everybody. A two-on-one handicap match. Isaac Roa starting off and there is no Samoa Joe in the corner of Joseph Ali. This is a tough predicament. For the above average Joes. Ready Set Game asking me, Con Man, who, how many people do you have in the draw? So the amount of people that we have in the draw varies every single month. Uh, if you get a character inside the Con Man universe, your name is no longer in the draw. So that essentially once a month, a name gets removed from the draw. But obviously the more people that we have with the $5 membership, the more people added in the draw. We currently have 44 members, I believe it is. And I think there's like 16 of them that are only the $2 supporters. So take that as you will. I think there's probably about 15, 16 people in the draw right now. Something like that. Oh man, Isaac Rowe though. Kick to the midsection of Joseph P. Ali. And Joseph P. Ali really wants to win this thing. He wants to win this thing for his partner, for Samoa Joe uh, from the above average Joes. And man, like the dynasty, if they lost here to Joseph P., that would be huge for for Josephine, no doubt about that. And it would be detrimental to the dynasty. You know, how can you call yourself a dynasty if you lose to one man? It's tough to do, isn't it? Oh, man. Isaac Roa, though, just sent shoving headfirst into the top turnbuckle, or not the top turnbuckle, sorry, what am I talking about? Into the steel turnbuckle right there. And look at Roa, though, just chopping along. Wait, what's the referee at? Count of six by the referee as Isaac Roa is just beating up Joseph Pielli. Is he going to try to send him back inside the ring? Nah, he's going to slide there. He's like, you know what? You come here. You come all the way over here as Isaac Roa now goes right back to Joseph Pielli. But look at Ali trying to use the corner. No Samoa Joe available, but Roa falls to the ground. Stop there to the midsection. Uh, Eli Bands, how you doing, my friend? He's, telling, he's asking me, Con, have you ever thought of making your own wrestling company? You do good. At, you are good at character and development and storytelling. Well, thank you, dude. Ah, uh, it'd be cool one day for sure. I do not have the funds, the resources, the contacts, anything like that right now. Maybe, maybe one day if everything is amazing. But that's a tough thing to do. Very tough thing to do, especially if you do not have a, the funds to begin with. Uh oh, Josephy! He just hit the coloss. Josephy in the coloss. It might be all over. Josephy into the cover. One. Oh, Roa kicks out at one. Isaac Roa is in deep trouble, but now Ali. He's looking for the Ali bomb. Oh, I think he gave up on it. I think Josephy Ali. Ah, oh, that might have been the mistake of the lifetime there. As Isaac Roa now is gonna send him into the corner. And uh oh, look out. Look out as you don't want to be here for this. You don't want to be here for this. We've seen it before. The Code of Dynasty. Kevin Wade being tagged in for the first time in this match. And it's all over. One, two, 
And whoa, Joseph P just kicked out of the Coda Dynasty. How? Oh man. Look at the leg drop right there across the neck of Kevin Waite. And I cannot believe it that Joseph P just kicked out of the Coda Dynasty. How did he kick out of that thing as he drops the knee again? Can Joseph P beat him? He's going for the Ali bomb. He's going for the Ali bomb. Joseph P. Ali. Oh, Kevin Wade, though, he reverses that one as he sends him down to the ground. A chop there to the chest, but Joseph P. turns him around, hits a back body drop onto Kevin Wade. And Joseph P.'s got to be proud of what he's done. The fact that he kicked out of the Coda Dynasty alone is something to be impressed over. Oh, but Kevin Wade's going to turn him around as he sends him back into the corner. He hits the... Oh, he misses the spear. He missed the spear there on Joseph P. Ali. Now he takes him away. I don't know what he's looking for here. Up and at him. Bulldog delivered to Joseph P. And Ali is in a little bit of trouble right now. Ali back into the corner, and I think if I were the Dynasty, I'd be looking for that Code of Dynasty one more time. Back elbow reversal, though, from Joseph P. Ali. Joseph P. Suplex to the ground, right in front of Isaac Roa. And Joseph P.'s got to be just hanging on for dear life right now. He's going to do everything in his power to win this for Samoa Joe, his tag team partner from the above average Joes. And look at this snapmare. We've seen it time and time again in the Conman universe. A simple snapmare can put away anybody. It really can. People like Shane the Gamer have fallen to the snapmare. Now Joseph P. working on the lower legs of Kevin Wade. He's got the cover. Is it going to be enough? One. Kick out at one by Wade. But I wonder if the tank is big enough for Joseph P. Can he finally hit the finishing move? Look at that big maneuver there into the corner as he just sends him flying. And now Kevin Wade being dragged back into the corner. Sent their corner turnbuckle. Head first. And Joseph P. throws him down. But wait, what's he looking for? Joseph P. Dude, what are you going for? Joseph P. The flying fist to the face of Wade. And Joseph P. is hanging on here, man. Can he get it done against the Dynasty? Off the middle rope. All 300 pounds into the face of Kevin Wade. No, he kicks out at one. And Wade just being put into this very, very tough predicament now against Joseph P. I think he's looking for his finishing move. He totally is. Joseph P. What's he going to hit here? Oh! The clothesline from hell. But it's going to be here. Isaac Roa breaks it up. And he had no choice. Isaac Roa having to get involved in this matchup. As Kevin Wade's head was almost taken right off. And Joseph, he's got to be so proud of his stuff here tonight. Look at this. The kicks over and over again to the chest. And Kevin Wade needs to tag so desperately here. He needs it. Kevin Wade. Can he hit the reversal? No. Instead, he gets hit with a knee DT. As now, Joseph P. lifts him up. Kevin Wade. He's been put into it again. The Coloss delivered. Wade is in trouble. One, two. Isaac Roa saves him again. As Joseph P. is fighting off the dynasty here tonight. Well, single-handedly, no question. Oh, this might have been the first mistake, though. Joseph P. up into the corner, turnbuckle right by Isaac Roa. Oh, he doesn't decide to jump, though. Instead, he brings Roa back inside the ring. The mind games continue from Joseph P. He is fighting for his life. Two on one, fighting for Samoa Joe. Can he get it done? The leg drop across the tag team partner of Kevin Wade from the Dynasty. But he's not the legal man. And this is the mistake. Kevin Wade misses the spear. Oh, and the clothesline breaks that up as Joseph P. falls to the ground. And now Kevin Wade, the dynasty, have him in control. A clothesline knocks him down. Joseph P., man. Look at this big DDT. Kevin Wade's got this now. Oh, Joseph P. reversed it. Spoke too soon. Shoulder tackle knocks him down. And I cannot believe what we're witnessing here in this matchup. 
This should not be this one-sided for Josephy. Look at this half Boston Crab. But now Kevin Wade trying to reach out for a tag to Isaac Roa as Isaac Roa was doing some sort of a motion there. He wanted him to come make the tag, but Kevin Wade can't. Instead, Kevin Wade reverses this one. Arm breaker across the side. Back into the corner. The Dynasty, uh-oh. And guess what, folks? Ready, set, code of Dynasty. Isaac Rowe into the cover, and that's all she wrote here today. Two, three. The Dynasty finally pick up the win over a very game Joseph e. Ali. Yes, ready, set, game. The series will absolutely go into 2K20. I don't know exactly if the characters are going to be the same because there is no transfer avail available, so i got to recreate every single one of the damn characters. <laughs> But once I'm done creating all the characters, the series will absolutely continue. Man. What a showing for Joseph P. Ali. As, as that would make Samoa Joe very proud. No doubt about that. Unfortunately, came up just a little short after a very, very hard fought battle. Here. There you go, it's the Dynasty. All right, everybody, let's continue on here tonight. So, Dynasty One, Q. <clears throat> Okay, everybody, so in this next matchup that we have here right now, it is the reverse of the matchup that we saw last week. Last week, we saw Brad Rhea take on Jeff Hardy from the uh, from the H&J connection, Hunter Gray and Jeff Hardy connection, and Brad Rhea pulled off the win over Jeff Hardy. We also saw last week that Hunter Gray faced Mr. Tornicane, where Mr. Tornicane ended up beating him as well. Well, now this week we get to see the matchup of the two high flyers of the group. The real, real, real high flyers of the group. Brad Rhea versus Hunter Gray one-on-one. -on -one. No Mr. Tornicane by his side. No Jeff Hardy by Hunter Gray's side. Let's do this. Yes, guys, I am going to be live with my reaction to Monday Night Raw. And apparently I do not have an entrance for Brad Rhea right now, so he's just going to slowly come on down to the ring. Alright, so Brad Rhea's in the ring. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh yeah, that's right. And here we go, from the H&J Connection, it is... Hunter Gray taking a page right out of Jeff Hardy's playbook, showing that he is great. Remember how that all started? Remember how Hunter Gray started this whole thing? He mocked Jeff Hardy. He mocked him by coming on down to the ring by doing that, and they eventually formed an alliance. They have formed a good team. They became the tag team champions, and then Jeff Hardy and Hunter Gray were put on the shelves. They were injured for a long time, but now they're able to come on back here to the ring and truly make an impact tonight. Hunter Gray, welcome here again. My day's doing pretty good, RK. How's your day doing? All right, everybody. Let's do this thing. The undisputed YouTube era member, Brad Rhea versus the Gray Matter himself, Hunter Gray. Oh, what a drop kick there, and this should be a spirited bout right now. These two superstars should lay into each other, absolutely. There should be no interference in this match. There should be no Jeff Hardy. There should be no Mr. Tornicane. 
and I'm just excited to see how these two superstars do in one-on-one -on -one action without anybody costing this match. It's it's needed. We know, we need a match between these two and truly find out who the better superstar is. So here we go. Side headlock delivered by Hunter Gray to start off the match. <clears throat> Brad Rhea, though, going to roll him through into a side headlock of his own. And then Hunter Gray breaks out of that one. Back into the clutch, and then he throws him into the corner as Hunter Gray misses the stinger splash in the corner. Brad Rhea with a right hand delivered. Another right hand delivered there to Hunter Gray. Float over back, DDT, as that's got to hurt. And Hunter Gray, right off the bat, is in a little bit of trouble against Brad Rhea. But now Brad helps him back up to his feet. What a nice guy there, Brad. Good guy, Brad. Ducks underneath him. Look at that go, Brad Rhea. Oh, what a super kick delivered to Honor Gray. And now Honor Gray turned on over Brad Rhea trying to get the early pinfall. Can he get it? No, kick out at one by Hunter. My day's going pretty good, my friend. Uh, you know, not. It, it's interesting because there's really not much to talk about in terms of my day. My day really consists of waking up, eating lunch, coming here, and working. And then working kind of all day. What? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? That's Jeff Hardy's music. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god, what the hell? Jeff! Jeff just turned on his partner! What? They're the number one team contenders! They're the number one contenders! Hunter Gray and Jeff Hardy are the number one tag team contenders! What the hell? Why did Jeff Hardy just turn on Hunter Gray? What just happened? Hunter Gray was taken out by Jeff Hardy, and now Brad Rhea getting the opportunity with the standing moonsault. And he's going all the way. What the hell? Jeff Hardy! Oh my god, Jeff Hardy just cost him the match! Hunter Gray's down! Do we have a do we have a heel, Jeff Hardy? Oh my god! One! Two! Oh! He kicks out! I I am we Jeff, what did you just do? I I understand that you guys both lost last week. I understand that you you have been struggling all but my god Hunter Gray was almost woken up by that Hunter Gray the great matter delivered there to Brad Rhea and imagine if Hunter Gray can do it oh my god now Hunter Gray going all the way up Hunter Gray he's got the opportunity to pin the tag team champion Hunter Gray oh he misses the swanton bomb into the cover one Two, and it's all over. Brad Rhea made him crash and burn. That was the last little bit of ounce of effort Hunter Gray could have. After the attack from Jeff Hardy, I am so, so flabbergasted. Ah. What in the world? just happened there with Jeff Hardy. I, uh, I, these guys have been tag team partners since essentially day one of the Con Man universe. I know they had that one week where they fought and then they became friends. They became, they got mutual respect for each other. They're the tag team number one contenders. They lost both last week. What was the reason? Jeff. I, this is one of the most shocking moments in the Con Man universe we have had, and we are going to need to get to the bottom of this. What the hell happened to Jeff Hardy, and why did he attack Hunter Gray? Here is your winner, the Superstar.
But there you go. Congratulations, Brad Rhea. That is a massive win on your end. And I mean, I, I think I could be wrong, but I think that was Jeff Hardy coming on down to the ring, essentially ending the feud of the undisputed YouTube era versus the H&J Connection. They're supposed to be the number one tag team competitors, but I don't know where we go from here. Wow. All right, everybody. So, I uh, uh, let's just kind of take a moment, step back, and digest what it is that we just saw. The one of the most beloved babyface in the entire world, Jeff Hardy, turning his back on his longtime tag team partner. I, I, I guess we're going to have to get some more answers from Jeff Hardy moving forward in the future, but this is shocking. It is disheartening. You hate to see it. You hate to see your tag teams just blow up like that, especially a tag team who is set to have a shot at the gold. Why did Jeff Hardy do this? We're going to find out in future weeks, but man, this is uh, something else. But everybody, now uh, we do actually have ourselves a little promo set for the new Canadian champion, the new Canadian champion being Domination. He finally unseated the villain last week, becoming the TV champion or the Canadian champion in his own right. So now, everybody, let's see exactly what it is that he has to say. This is Domination. Hate to say I told you so. But I told you so. Look, this right here, the Canadian Championship, it finally means something. This championship was hardly on TV before me. Well, now that changes. I'm a man of few words, so I'll keep this simple. If you want a shot, all you have to do is march your ass down to this ring, step inside it, and be prepared to be dominated. What? Oh my god, Ryan's interrupting! Ryan Lefebvre is interrupting! What the hell?! Ryan Lefave coming on down to the ring. The former member of the GOATS. Ryan Lefave. No. Is Ryan Lefave answering the open challenge of domination? I think he is. I think Ryan Lefave is in fact opening answering the open challenge. Is this for the T is this for the Conman Canadian Championship? Oh my god, it is! Talk about former tag team members. And now Ryan LaFave and Introduce Domination. Oh my god. In at Ryan just turned on his tag team partner as well. The superstar. Ryan LaFave wasting no time before getting down to that ring. And Domination could not have been expecting this. There is no way Domination was ready to see Ryan LeFave return and walk down to this ring with one thing on his mind. He is pissed off that he left the GOATs. He is pissed off that he left him on the sidelines. He didn't bring him with him. He never asked for his help at all. And now Ryan LeFave returns to the Con Man universe and he's got a shot at the Canadian Championship? The Canadian Championship open challenge from the Domination. And now, who will win? Type 1 for Domination, Type 2 for Ryan LaFave, and this is a match we do not want. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. oh Ryan. Ryan. I think you just pissed off your former tag team member. As this is not what you should have done. Oh my god! Ryan LaFave sent right into the mat as he's being choked out. By domination. Ryan LaFave elbow to the top of the head. Ryan though, he's gonna try to fight back. He knows he's in for a brawl here. Oh, what a running knee. And imagine, imagine, can he get it done? One, oh, kick out delivered there. Or sorry, not delivered, but kick out from the domination. As Ryan LaFave's gonna try his best, but he's in there with a beast called Domination. As now Domination throws him in the corner again, a back elbow from Ryan LaFave. He just hit the running knee one more time. Ryan is out to get him right now. 
and oh, ho, 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 Ryan Lefebvre. Oh, but the legs get sweeped from underneath as now Ryan being helped back up to his feet. Look at this domination. What move right there as he sends him down to the ground and he's going to use that massive arms right there to try to choke out Ryan Lefebvre. Holy. Okay, so within a moment's notice, all of a sudden we went from having the GOAT being a tag team. We went from having uh, uh, the... What was it? The H and J connection being a tag team. And now we've lost both of those. The tag team division is in shambles right now as everybody's turning on everybody. Back elbow there from Domination, but the reversal there from Ryan LeFave. And imagine if Ryan LeFave could possibly, uh, possibly get this done. It'd be impressive. Uh, Brian O'Dell, how long have you been a member? If you guys hover on your computer over the, uh, the membership sign, it will tell you if you're a new member, one month, three months, six months, one year, and two years, I believe. So you can kind of get a rough idea. I don't know exactly how long you've necessarily been a member for unless I go into my deep stats and I take a look, which is fine. Right back up to his feet. Ryan LeFay being sent to the corner, and that's not where you want to be with Domination. We've seen this before. Domination. Oh, he just got reversed, though. Back into the corner. Oh, the referee is down. The referee is down. And that's not where you want to be for domination. Look at this. Super choke slam from domination. And a kick to the chest as well. As domination. And watch this. Drops all 311 pounds right into the heart of Ryan LaFave. One, two. Ryan has all oh, kicked out of that move as well. Ho, oh. ho, ho. Sweeps of the leg right there. And Ryan LeFave continuing to work this man. If Ryan can become the Canadian champion. Oh! Did he just kick the trouble in paradise? Ryan! Oh, it's not over yet. Oh, back down to the ground. And look at domination. Oh, just all 300 pounds again across the chest. Thought it was over there. As Ryan LeFave is being worked right now. The former tag team, the head, but look at this move as Domination just headbutt again to the shoulder. Trying to work him really, really strongly. And now, right back down in the cover, Ryan LeFave is hooked to kick out there by Ryan. Remember the history that these two have had. These are the GOATs, the former tag team champions. And now, Ryan being told to get up, but this is a, ha a long way up there. What is Domination gonna do? Domination, crossbody caught! What the hell? Ryan LeFave, oh, and a scoop slam delivered. Ryan just hit one of the biggest moves, one of the biggest catches. He caught 311 pounds out of midair into the cover. One, two, oh, kick out by Domination. As Ryan is holding his own, oh, double leg takedown though, as I spoke too soon. Domination, again, 311 pounds across the chest of Ryan LeFave. <sighs> Remember everybody, if you are enjoying the show, please make sure you leave a like on this video. Also making sure you are subscribed to the channel, turn your notifications on, and consider supporting this channel by becoming a member. Oh snap, German suplex, this could be all over, Ryan, one, two, oh my god! Oh, kick out by Domination! And Ryan's going up. Ryan's looking for that senton. We've seen Ryan hit the senton before as he goes all the way up. Watch the metal. The metal goes across the back of his the back of his back as he Oh double stomp. I thought he was going for the flying senton. If he would have hit the flying senton there, I think the Canadian championship was his. But he took way too much time getting up there. As now Domination sends him back into the corner. I think he's looking for that choke slam one more time. Take a look at this. Domination's got his former tag team partner all the way up. As he punches him in the face, again another punch to the face as he just unloads on his tag team partner. Now Ryan back up to his feet. Domination. Oh, reversal there by Ryan. Elevated DDT as he plants him into the mat. The Canadian champion is in a lot of trouble right now as Ryan spin kicks him into the midsection. Trouble in paradise! Oh my goodness. What a show we are getting right now as Ryan LeFave is looking to put away his tag team partner. Look, German! German suplex from Ryan. Is that enough? 
Domination, 311 pounds, landed on the back of his head. One, two, new Canadian champion! Oh my God, Ryan did it! Ryan Lefebvre, he knocks off domination. Welcome back, Ryan Lefebvre. Oh, oh my God. New Canadian champion. I don't even know what to say. Ryan Lefebvre did it. Oh, wow. The reign of domination is over one week after unseating the longest reigning Canadian champion in the Con Man universe history. The villain cannot be a fan of the fact that domination just literally gave away the prestige of the title. He lost it without ever defending the title once. And now, Here Ryan Lefebvre. The man who has been missing for so long is now your new Canadian champion. Ready, set, game. Thank you so much, dude, for the $2 dono. It really was an amazing match. Like, my God. Wow. I did not expect to see this here tonight. I thought Domination was going to wipe the floor with uh, Ryan Lefebvre. I thought it was going to be all over, but man, nope. Not at all. This is unbelievable. RK08VE Sunny Views, or Sunny View MS bracket 1439, other bracket. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. There's your shout out. You can do with it with, it with, wow, I can't even speak. You can do with it with whatever you want. There you go. Take your shout out. You can wrap it up in a little box if you want. You can give it away to your friend. You can actually, if you truly want to do, you can save it for later. You can do anything your heart desires with your little shout out right there. But just make sure you wrap it in a little bow if you are going to gift it away. But thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate your support. Let's roll your $2 donation. There, ready, set, game. All right. Let's get on here with our next matchup of the evening. Wow. This has been a crazy night here tonight, guys, and I really hope that you see why it is that I don't rush to get these videos out to you. I don't try to sacrifice the quality of the show just to make the 3.30 start time. We always aim for 3.30, but sometimes we're going to be later, and usually the later that I am, the more likely that the show is going to be more in-depth, like shows here today. But everybody now, let's get on with the next match. And this match is going to tear a lot of heartstrings for people. Talking about former tag team partners. <sighs> Talking about former friends. Talking about the Huggables. That's right, folks. Here tonight, for the first time ever... We are going to get the Battle of the Huggables. Bailey has been acting weird since returning from injury. For whatever reason, she does not seem to, to like Pam as this champion. She feels that this should be her. It should be her spot. And it's almost like the mind games from Rebecca Helfritz have finally caught up. And have finally cost her so much. Take a close listen as these two superstars still come out to the same theme music. Bailey got Pam M. She saved her. She was her best friend. And until this injury, they were as close as could be. Pam doesn't even seem to know what's going on with it. But here tonight, we are going to finally get the, uh, the battle of the Huggables. And I'm sorry about the audio right there. Thank you very much for reminding me. Yeah. Wow. Making her way to the ring from New York, the Raw Women's Champion. The queen. So there you guys have it. There's your little backstory for this matchup. And uh, I am very, very, 
very torn in this match. I don't know who to root for. You know, I'm I'm all for having great matchups, competitive matchups, but you hate to see a championship come between two friends. I know there can only be one on top, but you hate to see it, man. And there you go, same music again. Former tag team partners, as tonight's theme has seemingly been turning on your tag team partner for whatever reason. But Bailey, she has returned. And she is here with her. her Ooh. Wacky waveable inflatable two men, the wacky waveable inflatable two men, the wacky waveable inflatable two men are all here tonight. Bailey marching down to this ring. And it is great to see her back here. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but just a week ago, we had ourselves a one on one match between Bailey and Rebecca Helfritz, where Bailey picked up the win. So now, in her second match back since becoming uh, a part of the Con Man universe, we now get to see her take her aggression out on the women's champion. Now, I believe, everybody, if you cannot see where the story is going, I believe at TLC we are going to get a triple threat for both of the women's uh, championships. I believe we're gonna get a triple threat of Bailey, Rebecca Helfritz, and Pam M. I think we're getting a triple threat of Shell the Black Widow versus Cal Lilly and versus Becky Lynch. So that is going to be at TLC. Make sure you guys look forward to that. That's in a few weeks. I'll show you exactly when we're gonna be live with TLC at the end of the show. But here we go, everybody. Bailey. Being sent off the ropes. Back into there as Pam M ducks underneath. And look at these two huggables. There's going to be a lot of aggression from Bailey. And I think a lot of confusion and defense from Pam M. Keep an eye on that. But hang on. Pam's going to start out with the offense. Oh, man. Just driving her hips right there into the side of the head of Bailey. And maybe it's not going to be Mrs. Nice Pam tonight. Maybe she's going to show Bailey exactly why she is the con women's champion. Bailey, though, with the arm drag, sends her back down to the ground. And Pam M is in a little bit of trouble. Neckbreaker delivered. I'm very curious, guys. In 2K20, would you like for me to upload the Con Man Universe characters to the uh, to the 2K suite or whatever it's called, the 2K Creation Suite? That way you guys can download your characters. Is that something that you would like to do? That way you can create your own Con Man Universe characters at home and all that. like, And create your own Con Man Universe, if you will. Using the characters in this series. Yes? Okay. So in 2K20, we will be doing that. Alright, guys? That's what I plan to do. I plan to make all the characters available to you guys through the creation suite. That's what I'll do. As, at least as many superstars that I can upload. I don't know the amount of superstars I can upload to the creation suite in 2K20. We'll obviously find that out. But yeah, it seems like that's an overwhelming yes. So, all right. Good. That backed up what I thought was going to happen. Cool. Pam and though, right into the cover against Bailey. Here's the cover kick out by Bales. Oh, schoolboy package. Bailey's in trouble. Referee, you got to get in there. One kick out at one again by the former number one contender remember Rebecca Helfritz took Bailey out from being the number one contender and Bailey was supposed to be the number one contender against Pam M that happened you know and I don't think she ever truly lost her number one contendership and that's why she's going after the women's champion right now she knows that there can only be one woman on top and right now it just happens to be her tag team partner from the Huggables but man sometimes championships really do become in between friends right Slides back inside the ring, does Bailey as she lifts Pam up, but Pam's gonna do a nice little reversal as she drives her knee into the midsection of Bailey. I gotta ask, is Rebecca Helfritz going to be involved in this matchup at any point? It seems like that would be a Rebecca Helfritz thing to do. It feels like that would be a thing where she would come on down to the ring and just make this match all about herself, right? But maybe she doesn't want to do that. Maybe Rebecca Helfritz is a little smarter than we give her credit for. Maybe. Maybe she's just lying and waiting. Maybe she's just thinking, hey, if I let these two superstars battle it out before TLC, before our match, that gives me a bigger advantage. What if Pam M gets hurt in this match? All of a sudden, that could be one less person in the match. What if Bailey gets hurt? 
I completely understand why she would not be coming down to the ring and not even being around at ringside. But it does not feel like it's a Rebecca Helfrich's thing to do. Hang on, though, as we're talking away right now. Take a close look at Bailey. She's looking for the Bailey to Belly on the women's champion. Oh my god! She hit it! She hit it! Bailey to Belly on Pam. And oh, but she was in the ropes. Bailey. Unfortunate as hell. Pam M was in the ropes and causing a rope break right away. That is gotta suck, man. Right hand from Bailey knocks Pam to the outside. And now Bailey's gonna go flying through the air. Is she gonna look to drop an elbow? She's telling Pam M to get up here. Here we go. Pam back up to her feet. Bailey's gonna fly. Oh, she misses the leg drop as Pam sidesteps her right there. Pam M, man. And this isn't even our main event. We've got ourselves... Oh, like, this is gonna, I'm going to be going to like probably almost 6 o'clock. This is going to be a long episode. Our main event, folks, is going to be long. It's going to be good, though. Bailey back up to her feet. Bam, and misses the diving elbow right there as she was going for a modified crossbody elbow. But now back into the corner. Pam and was thrown, and Bailey just runs her from behind. Here's the cover. One, two. Oh, my God, Pam. There you go. Pam staying alive. Bailey, is she going for her elbow drop? Bailey! What are you going for, girl? All the way up. Bailey flies as she hits the Harakarana. Down goes Pam M. And now she is one Bailey to belly away from possibly beating the Raw Women's Champion, the Con Women's Champion. I keep calling it Con, but it, or, or Raw for Con, but it doesn't matter. It's three letters. Same old, same old. But now take a look. Pam M. Oh, she was going for her neck breaker delivered there, but Bailey reversed it, but right back into the snap suplex down on the ground. Back up to her feet goes Bailey, misses the clubbing blow, but she takes her down this time. Pam M. Starting to build back up her momentum in this match. Into the corner, spear there, back up, taking a play out of Bailey's book. Woo! Delivered. Go in the corner, back elbow to Bailey. And look at that, just right out of the playbook of Bailey. Now into the opposite corner. I think she's gonna look for the Bailey Exploder, the thing Bailey taught her, and she totally is. Bailey's in trouble. Bailey hit with the Bailey Exploder. And now Pam M into the cover. Is it enough to put away Bales? One, two, oh my god, no kick out from the former number one contender. But Pam M now trying to showcase to the world that she's in fact on top of the world. Can she hit it? Oh, reversal from Bailey as she shoves away the neck breaker. Float over, DDT delivered again to Pam. And Pam is in deep trouble now as Bailey stomps on the back of her neck. Drops the knee across the midsection again. And Bailey's got to have one more big move. If she can hit a Bailey to Bailey, it'd be all over. That's what she went for. Oh! Delivered to the Con Women's Champion. One, two. Pam kicks out. Pam kicking out again. Oh, ho. wow. Bailey is so close. That is two. Bailey to Bailey's on Pam M now. As Pam M's getting up to their feet. Bailey's going all the way up. Bailey, what you going for? Bailey drops the elbow on the Pam, knocks her out, and Bailey's got the opportunity now. Does she have another belly to belly delivered? Oh, she takes her down with a clubbing blow. Another clubbing blow, just like Pam M did before. And now Bailey's paying back the favor here. Here we go. Ooh. Bang! Bailey, back elbow into the corner as that keeps Pam M up. And now Bailey's gonna be thrown into the corner just like Pam M did to her. Bailey, this time with the Bailey Exploder of her own. Pam M's in so much trouble. Pam M. Oh, reversal. I think Bailey was going for the Bailey to Bailey. But now off the ropes, Pam M sends her. Luthez presses. Now she's just going to throw her mat in, throw her head into the mat. I don't even know what English is anymore. Pam M now. What she got in mind? Under hook. Oh, what a suplex. She's bridging, but Bailey was in the ropes as she kicks out at one. Lifted back up to her feet. Bailey in a little bit of trouble. Forearm to the face. Reversal down goes Pam M. Bailey! Oh! Bailey to belly delivered! One!
one, two, and Bailey has beaten Pam M. The Con Women's Champion falls to her former mentor. And now Bailey just completely telling the world that she may have taught Pam M everything that she knows, but she did not teach her everything that Bailey knows. Bailey picks up the win in one of the biggest matches of her career. Wow. Unbelievable. Here tonight, Pam M tried her damnedest, but it was Bailey in the end who hit three Bailey to bellies. And like honestly, Wow. It was a tight, tight match. But is Bailey finally set to become the next Con Women's Champion? It feels like it could be. As Bailey stands tall here tonight. Congratulations goes to Bailey and all the Bailey fans. But everybody now, we have ourselves one more match. And everybody, I didn't want to say this before because I didn't want to spoil anything. But in this match right now, Lou Dog versus Adam Cole. And I want to take you guys back to last week, okay, everybody? I want to take you back to Adam Cole's promo that he cut on Lou Dog. Let's just take a look. One week ago before this match goes down, this is what happened. Take a look, everybody. So Adam Cole came on down to the ring last week, and there's no way that I can speed up this video because, unfortunately, it's just not possible. So you guys are just going to have to deal with me and deal with this for a moment to relive this promo from last week. Watch what Adam Cole had to say towards Lou Dog, and it was a very, very interesting thing to have happen. So Adam Cole last week, ready for this? This was the promo, once again, from last week. Okay, first of all, I've heard all of the comments over the past week. I heard how you don't think, or how you think I don't deserve to face Crossbow for the World Heavyweight Championship. I've heard all you've had to say with my win last week that it was a fluke, but guess what? I'm the number one contender, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. I beat both Ludog and Shane the Gamer last week, fairly easily, I might add. They honestly didn't even stand a chance. Hell, they could barely stand three minutes in the ring with me. It's laughable how they think they deserve another shot. See, if I were Ludog, I'd be so embarrassed right now, I'd hang my head and head home. I'll try to recover from all of this. He might as well just stay there. Wait, and then watch this. This was Ludog's response. He appeared in the ring and kicked Adam Cole in the nuts before leaving Cole at ringside. He had had enough from Adam Cole as Ludog leaves the ring after just kicking him square in the danglers. And that sets up this match here this week, everybody. This is... An Iron Man match, and there is so much on the line. Oh, guys, I cannot emphasize this enough. If Lou Dog is able to beat Adam Cole in this Iron Man match, Lou Dog will be entered into the match, and it will become a triple threat. If Adam Cole wins, Adam Cole gets to pick the stipulation for the match against Crossbow. Huge match up here tonight. Iron Man match, everybody. The audio, here we go. Thank you guys so much, my bad. But now, this match is a 15 minute Iron Man. And the winner, like I said, if Ludog wins, he's added into the match against Crossbow at TLC. And if, and if Adam Cole wins, he picks the stipulation for his one-on-one -on -one match with Crossbow. This is huge. But before we get into this match, everybody, I want to remind you to make sure you leave a like on this video. Also making sure you are subscribed to the channel. Can you turn those notifications on? That would be great. Also, everybody, if you're truly, truly enjoying the show and you wish to show your support, you can become a member of this channel, which is what you see everybody's name turning green and everything like that. 
or you can drop a donation. Any little bit is appreciated. But here we go. It is Adam Cole, baby. Weighing in at 205 pounds, Adam Cole. From the undisputed era down there in NXT, Adam Cole is up here on Monday Night Con. And tonight is a huge matchup for him. The number one contender could potentially lose his number one contendership because there would be another man in the ring. He wants, he wants a one-on-one -on -one match against Crossbow because that is where he feels his best chances are. One-on-one. -on -one. What if you tie? Good question. I think we just have to figure that one out at a later date if these guys tie. Let's focus on the match at hand right now. Lou Dog and Adam Cole, one-on-one. -on -one. Are you guys ready? Say it with me. Adam Cole, baby! Let's get this thing underway. Fifteen minutes on the Oh my goodness gracious. Lou Dog just got laid out. So everybody, fifteen minutes on the clock um, in this Iron Man match, and we are going to see who can truly walk out the victor. The way you win an Iron Man match is by having more falls than your opponent at the end of the fifteen minutes. So you gotta fall through disqualification through count out, through uh, pinfall, through submission, any way that you pick up a win in a normal match, that is how you can pick up a win in the Iron Man match. At the end of the day, the one with the most falls wins. And like I said, if Adam Cole wins, he gets to pick the stipulation versus crossbow. And if Ludog wins, he is added to that match. Huge matchup here tonight. Uh-oh, down on the ground. Seven. Count of seven by the referee. Oh, and Ludog's gonna break the count. So Ludog wants to keep fighting on the outside. So that is interesting to note. Two. So Ludog not looking to get a quick victory right now with a count out. Three. You gotta question those uh, those thought processes right there. You know, if I were Ludog, I would have left Adam Cole on the outside of the ring. I would have beat him down, and I would have tried to get the countout victory early on. You know, go up one to nothing. Nice suplex there, though, from Ludog as he sends Adam Cole crashing into the mat. Been turned on over as Ludog goes into the cover. One kick out there by Adam Cole. Adam Cole back up to his feet, but Ludog... Sends him back into the corner. And remember kind of how this match all came about. The, uh, the matchup with uh, the, the triple threat, it just kind of seemed to be over super duper duper quick. Like it didn't even last three minutes. The number one contender's uh, number one match uh, versus Adam Cole, Lou Dog, and Shane the Gamer. The match was very quick. And Lou Dog took exception to that. And when Adam Cole called him out last week, Ludog had no choice but to go down there and kick him square in the nuts, right? That's what Ludog does. So now Ludog gets his opportunity to weasel his way back into another main event match. And if Ludog can get it done, it'll be impressive. Oh, but look at Adam Cole. He's been hit with a float over suplex. And now Adam Cole being put into danger. Ludog, oh, big move there. We've seen that from Lou. The Luplex delivered. Is it time? Can Ludog go up one nothing over the number one contender? Two kick out by Cole. But Adam Cole is in danger. Yep, there you go. Lou Dog's looking for it. Lou Dog going down. He's got him hook. Lou hits him with. Oh! What a reversal by Cole. I thought he was about to hit him with the butterfly pile driver. What the hell? What the hell? Crossbow is here. Crossbow is here! Oh man, the World Heavyweight Champion has arrived as he's a distracted Adam Cole. But now a roll up from behind, Ludog going for the first fall. One, two, Cole kicks out of that one. 
as man the crossbow is here now and look at ludog throws him into the mat so crossbow has arrived and he is watching on at ringside here for this this matchup right now the world heavyweight champion there on the sidelines big knee there from ludog though stops adam cole and man did he just did he just eat that knee is it all over one two cole oh my god Ooh. wow Adam Cole, baby, just kicked out of that hard knee. I'm not sure if you guys saw. When Adam Cole's head came down, Ludog drove his knee in an upward fashion, and it caught Cole right on the forehead. Oh, kick to the midsection again, though, as Ludog there. Oh, Ludog. Ludog. Oh, what is this strength? Lu oh, I got Buster to Cole. And you got to admit this. The, the size advantage totally goes to Ludog and the strength advantage as well. But look at this, Ludog floats over again as he's gonna try to hit it for the second time. The Luplex hit there today. And that might be the first fall of the matchup. One, two, Ludog. No, has not been able to pin Adam Cole yet as this match is still going and Crossbow is looking onwards and I wonder if Crossbow is going to pay dividends here tonight. Ludog though lining it up one more time. Is Adam Cole going to reverse this one? It doesn't look like it as Adam Cole is hooked into the butterfly pile driver and Crossbow's rooting on Ludog. My goodness, here's the cover. One, two, and Adam Cole has fallen down one to nothing here as 10 minutes have uh or are on the clock still five minutes have passed in this matchup Lou dog just runs over adam cole now and it's one to nothing Lou dog oh is he going for a submission as well lou look at lou now man as lou is just wrenching on the arm of adam cole lou dog holding this in it could be all over but adam cole slides out of that one Woo, we got ourselves a five dollar donation from casey wood how you doing my friend he says, this is my second title reign, if you count last year's title reign. Uh, yeah, I don't, but, uh, yeah, I guess in, in uh, the overall universe mode, you absolutely, this is your second title reign. Congratulations, my friend, but in the con man universe, it's only your first. Completely different character. Thank you so much, though, dude, for your $5 donation. I appreciate it a lot. Off the ropes, ducks underneath there. Lou Dog. Oh, my God, Lou Dog, what an overhead belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Crossbow gonna get involved. This is my second title reign if you count last year title Lou dog. reign. Lou! Oh my god! Super kick from Adam Cole! As Lou Dog was flying off the top rope, Adam Cole just hit a super kick as Lou Dog was taking out both Adam Cole and Crossbow. And oh my god, look at this stop to the midsection again. Adam Cole just literally hit a super kick out of nowhere onto Lou Dog and now throwing him back inside the ring. Lou Dog. Wow. This is ridiculous. Adam Cole with a super kick out of absolutely nowhere. And now Lou Dog is in so much trouble. Back into the corner. Adam Cole. I think he's looking for maybe the Panama Sunrise. Look at this. Adam Cole to tie up the game. Panama. Sunrise delivered! Oh, Crossbow, what are you doing, man? Crossbow! Crossbow costing Adam Cole a fall. And you see why Crossbow is truly out here. He's here to try to break up every pinfall possible. Why? Why? Oh my god, Ludon! Oh, driving the knees into the back of Cole. Does Crossbow want a triple threat? Or does he think that having Lou Dog in the triple threat gives him a better chance of winning for some reason? It doesn't matter because now Lou Dog is up two to nothing on Cole, thanks to big time of Crossbow. Or is it maybe, just maybe, that Lou Dog, or he wants Lou Dog to win because Crossbow knows that if Adam Cole picks a stipulation, he's gonna pick one that Crossbow will lose in. And Lou Dog going again for another fall. Oh my goodness, Lou! Butterfly pile driver. Adam Cole's done. Yo, Cole is done. One, two, 
as Lude does not get the pinfall there. Oh, I thought it was going up 3-0. We are still in a two-on-two -two situation. Yeah, here you go, Jamie Todd, asking the right questions. Uh, asking really the right questions, but look at Ludog now. Just clobbering. Look at that back heel kick to Cole. As there is just under seven minutes remaining in this matchup, Adam Cole is in a tough predicament. As Ludog now going again. Oh, another backstabber to Cole. And maybe it is that Crossbow thinks that Adam Cole's gonna be injured by him being down here. Look at this Ludog. Two, as he just, no, he can't get another pinfall. Cole staying alive. This is unbelievable. Oh, we've seen this before. Watch the throat cut. Lou Dog. Game over. Game over for Cole. <laughs> that hard knee that we've seen him put away people before, before with. Into the cover. Two. And it is three to nothing for Lou Dog. Adam Cole is falling hard. Oh, but can Adam Cole start his comeback? Six minutes remaining, and Adam Cole's gonna turn the neck over of Lou Dog as he drops him into the mat. And oh man, can Lou Dog uh, hold on to this three to nothing win right now? But Adam Cole, he's going for something. He's going for a dirty pinfall. He's going for a dirty pinfall. One. Oh, kick out at one by Lou Dog. You got to go better than that there, Adam Cole. You got to be better than that jawbreaker there to the big boy as Lou Dog falls down. Super kick misses right there on uh, Lou Dog. Lou Dog gets hit with the chop though. Back into the corner, off the ropes. Adam Cole waiting, misses the clothesline there as Lou Dog right into it again. Oh my God, Lou Dog. Lou Dog into another Luplex. How is this happening? Oh, again. Adam Cole is being decimated by Lou. As Lou Dog hooks the leg, Cole is in trouble. One, two, and oh, a kick out again by Adam Cole. Five minutes remain, and Adam Cole has yet to pin Lou Dog. And I'm not sure if he's going to get the opportunity as this dominant side of Lou Dog is on full display right now. Into it one more time, Lou Dog. Butterfly pile driver. That's all she wrote for Cole again. One, two, Adam Cole is down four to nothing. And if Lou Dog wanted to make a statement, that he belonged in this world championship match. If he wanted to make a statement that Adam Cole won by a fluke, he is doing that here tonight. Oh, but Adam Cole with a big knee there to the face of Ludog. Super kick delivered. Oh my God, straight arm suplex into the corner. Ludog's gotta be hurting. Into the cover. One. Two, and Lou Dog, oh, kicks out again. 4-13 remain. And Adam Cole cannot pick up this win for the life of him. He can't get a single win right now. Reversal into the corner, Lou Dog. I, I think Lou Dog just saved himself a, a fall right there as Adam Cole was definitely going for the Panama Sunrise. And Lou Dog now drops his elbow into the chest of uh, Cole. Of A. Cole. Now Adam Cole gets hit in the face again. Are you kidding me? Again, another backstabber to Cole. The damage is too much. Lou Dog looking for the fifth pinfall too. And Adam Cole still staying alive. Cole needs to get moving. I, I think this is his one-sided of a, uh, a match we've seen. We haven't seen a more one-sided Iron Man match since the one at WrestleMania between Steve and the villain. But now look at Lou Dog looking to put him away again. Drives that knee and busts open Adam Cole. And my God, Cole is down one, two, and Lou Dog has went up five to nothing here. Cole getting back in this matchup. He wants to try to get at least one fall. Into the corner goes Lou Dog. And Cole's looking for Panama Sunrise. He is looking for it here. And can he hit it? A kick to the knee. Cole all the way up to the middle rope. Looking to cut, try to get back in this match. Panama Sunrise to Lou Dog into the cover. Referee, cover, come on. One, two, 
as Lou Dog has finally fallen victim to Adam Cole. But 249, it might be just a little too much too late. Adam Cole delivered the back elbow right there. And he's going again into the corner. If he can hit another Panama Sunrise. Oh, he misses a Stinger Splash as Lou Dog rolls out of the way. Lou Dog. Oh! <laughs> Clothesline knocks him down. And I think with that, we are going to see Lou Dog march his way into the match as we have another triple threat set on the horizon for TLC. This is ridiculous. Into the cover now. One, two, kick out by Cole. And you gotta ask yourself, after this beating that Adam Cole has been taking, is, is Adam Cole even going to still be the number one contender? Is he going to be able to make it to TLC after this beating by Ludog? That's like a really good question. Ludog just gorilla presses him and drops him into his knee. This is as nearly as one-sided as it gets. Right hand Ludog again into the backstabber. Wait, where's Lou going? There's a minute 45 left as he's up 5-1. to one. Why is he going high risk? Ludog, where are you going? Adam Cole being told to get up. Lou Dog! Oh, what a reversal by Cole! He scoops him into a power slam, and like I said, you don't want to go high risk with this little time remaining. But Lou Dog just knocks him down with a clothesline, and it's just like it's game over there. Lou Dog doesn't even care at this point. He's up five to one, two, and Adam Cole just kicks out again with a minute 17 remaining in this matchup, and Lou Dog is feeling a victory. He is feeling so confident. Look at this man. How could you not be confident? How could you not be confident when you know you're going to be the number one contender? Or at least part of the number one match. Come on, Lou Dog. Throws him down to the ground as Adam Cole is getting absolutely bullied. Wait, Lou Dog, don't do this again. Oh, I thought Lou Dog was going to try to drive that knee into the face of Adam Cole one more time. Instead, now, he's going to be sent into a big move. What is this? Fall away slam from Lou Dog. As now Lou Dog with 40 seconds left in this matchup, he feels a win coming on. Lou Dog says it's over as he drives the knee into the face of Adam Cole again. Adam Cole falling victim, and you gotta wonder if Adam Cole is concussed. Look at the blood pouring out of the face of Cole. We're up six to one for Lou Dog in this merciless Iron Man match. Look at the blood across the face of Cole. He, he's He's, he's down, man. Adam Cole is, he is getting so hurt. Oh, but somehow has the wherewithal to be able to deliver the jawbreaker. Kick into the midsection as Adam Cole wants to put a little bit of damage on a Lou Dog. Hits him with a brain buster. But Cole can barely stand on his own two feet as Cole falls short to Lou Dog. So everybody right now, Lou Dog is in the triple threat match. It's official. TLC will be Crossbow versus Lou Dog versus Adam Cole. Bay, bay. Woo! Wow. Just like that, Lou Dog shut up Adam Cole. He shut him up for all the, the trash talk he was talking last week and proved to the world he is ready for Crossbow. Lou Dog with one of the most dominant performances in an Iron Man match in the Con Man history. Unbelievable. Remember everybody, if you have not done so, make sure you leave a like. Watch this, the super kick from Cole. Not only did Cole catch Lou Dog, but I'm pretty sure he caught Crossbow with that as well. And Cole tried, he tried to hit his big moves. He tried to hit the Brain Buster. He hit a few Panama Sunrises, but it was not enough. And now look at, wait. Oh, Lou Dog and Crossbow standing tall in the ring. I don't think that's supposed to be what it is because um, these guys are supposed to fight for the title later. So we're just going to back that out. But everybody, that is this week's edition of the Con Man Universe. I really hope all of you enjoyed this show. I hope you enjoyed all the little cutscenes that we had. I hope you enjoyed the storytelling that we had and everything like that. We're going to be live later on tonight with Monday Night Raw starting at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you guys are wondering when the next Con Man Universe is, that'll be on Wednesday around the 3.30 p.m. start time that we always do. Now, just really, really quickly here to show you guys where we are in the Con Man Universe. 
coming up. So this Wednesday, we got Wednesday Night Bob. Next Monday, we got Con. Next Wednesday, we got Bob. And then the Monday after that, so in two weeks from this day, we will be live with WWE Con Man TLC. Oh, yeah, everybody. That is exciting. Our pay-per-view is getting very near, and it's been a little bit since our last pay-per-view, so I'm excited to see what we can do with this TLC event. All right, everybody, on your way out, once again, make sure you leave a like on this video. Also, making sure you are subscribed to the channel, and as always, make sure you consider becoming a member and follow me on Twitter at Conman167, right? Conman167. Follow me. But guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to see you guys later tonight for Monday Night Raw, but until then, take care. I've been Con, and that was Monday Night Con.